Hello! In today's lesson, we are going to look at segments and their measures. Our objectives are to use the segment postulates and to use the distance formula to measure distances. Let's start with some vocabulary. Our first word is coordinate. A coordinate is a real number that corresponds to a point on a line. An example of a coordinate would be any number, so 5 is a coordinate, 10 is a coordinate, 12.6 is a coordinate. Distance. The distance between two points on a line is the absolute value of the difference between the coordinates of the points. We will see an example of distance in a little bit. Length. The length of a segment is the distance between the endpoints. Between. When three points lie on a line, you can say that one of them is between the other. So for example, if I were to have a line over here and I have point A, and point B, well then I can say point C is between line segment AB. Distance formula. The distance formula is a formula for finding the distance between two points in a coordinate plane. We are going to learn about the distance formula in a little bit. Postulates. Postulates are rules that are accepted without proof. Postulates are also called axioms. Congruent segments. Congruent segments are segments that have the same length. Let's look at our first postulate, postulate 1, ruler postulate. The points on the line can be matched one-to-one -one with real numbers. The real number that corresponds to a point is the coordinate of the point. The distance between point A and B, written as AB, is the absolute value of the difference between the coordinates of AB. AB is also called the length of line segment AB. Example 1, finding the distance between two points. So this goes with the postulate 1 ruler postulate. It says, measure the length of the segment to the nearest tenth of a centimeter. Remember, to find the length of the line segment, you are going to look at the distance between the endpoints. So you want to find where the endpoints are and then take the difference between them. I'm going to look at point B. Point B is located approximately 4.5. So that's endpoint B, and then endpoint A is located at 1, and I'm going to take the difference of that. 4.5 minus 1 is 3.5. Absolute value of 3.5 is 3.5. So we can say the length of line segment AB is about 3.5 centimeters. Postulate 2, segment addition postulate. If B is between AC, then AB plus BC is equal to AC. If AB plus BC is equal to AC, then B is between A and C. So if you're looking at this picture over here, our entire length is AC. And AC is made up of the line segment AB plus the line segment BC. Finding distances on a map. So we're looking at example two. Reading a map. Use the map to find the distance between the three locations that lie on a line. It says use the scale on the map to find the distance between the library and the stadium and the distance between the stadium and the museum. And we're supposed to use this scale measure over here. One of the hints that it gives you is that it's asking you to measure the length of the segment by placing an edge of a sheet of paper next to this scale. Then mark the scale on the paper and use it to measure the segment. So what I did was I would put my paper over here, I would mark on my paper where seven miles was, and then I would put it against this and see how many of these tick marks was within each point. So looking from L to S, I got about five miles, and S to M was seven miles. Knowing that the library, stadium, and museum lie on the same line, you can use the segment addition postulate to find the distance between the library and the museum. So I want to know from the library to the museum what is the distance. I know that the library to the stadium is 5 miles, and I know that the stadium to the museum is 7 miles. To find from the library to the museum, I'm just going to add it up. LM is equal to LS plus SM. We know that LS is 5, SM is 7, 5 plus 7 is 12, so the distance between the library and the museum is 12 miles. The distance formula. This formula is really important. You will be using this formula a lot throughout geometry, so please make sure you know how to use it and that you actually remember the formula. If A has x1, y1, and B has x2, y2, which are points in a coordinate plane, then the distance between A and B is given to us by the formula, the square root of the quantity x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square. 
Let's take a look at example three that uses the distance formula. Find the lengths of the segments and tell whether any of the segments have the same length. In order to find the lengths of the segments, we have to use the distance formula. Before I start, I'm going to write what my x1, y1 coordinates are, x2, y2 coordinates. I find that so much easier to do that and then plug it into the formula than trying to figure out later on what my x1 and y1 and what my x2 and y2 are. So I'm going to start with a, b. A is located at negative 2 and 4, and B is located at 3 and 1. So I'm going to say this is my x1, this is my y1 coordinate, and this is my x2, and this is my y2. And I'm just going to take that and plug this into the formula. So we've got AB, which is, remember the formula was x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared, and then you take the square root of it. To find AB, I know that my x2 is 3 minus x1, which is negative 2 square that plus y2 which is 1 minus y1 which is 4. We're going to simplify inside the parentheses first. 3 minus a negative 2 gives me 5. 1 minus 4 is negative 3. 5 squared is 25. Negative 3 squared is 9. 25 plus 9 is 34 and we cannot simplify the square root of 34 so we'll keep it as that. Okay looking from a to c again writing my coordinates down. a is located at negative 2 and 4 and and C is located at 0 and negative 4. Here's x1, y1, x2, y2. Take that and plug it into the formula. We've got 0 minus negative 2 plus negative 4 minus 4 squared. So this is x2, this is x1, this is y2, this is y1. Let's simplify. 0 minus a negative 2 is just 2 squared. Negative 4 minus 4 is negative 8. 2 squared is 4. Negative 8 square is 64. 4 plus 64 is 68 and then we have the square root of 68. We're just going to leave it at that since 68 is not a perfect square and we're not going to simplify that. Finally, BC is at, B is at 3 and 1 and C is at 0 and negative 4. X1, Y1, X2, Y2. Take that and plug that into the formula. We've got X2 which is 0 minus X1 which is minus 3 and then and y2, which is negative 4, minus 1. 0 minus 3 is negative 3. Negative 4 minus 1 is negative 5. Negative 3 squared is 9. Negative 5 squared is 25. 9 plus 25 is 34. And since this is not a perfect square, we're just going to leave it at square root of 34. And now we can see that AB and BC have the same distance. So we can say that line segment AB and line segment BC have the same length. All right, we're gonna skip checkpoint problem number one and two, but I would like you to try checkpoint problem numbers three and four. In these checkpoint problems, you are to use the segment addition postulate to find the lengths. In checkpoint problem number three, you are to find the length of JL, and in checkpoint problem number four, you are to find the length QR. Also do checkpoint problem number five. Find the length of the segments. Tell whether any of the segments have the same length. So find the length of AB, BC, CD, and AD, and tell me which segments have the same length or are it congruent. All right, that's it from me. I'll see you all soon.